know which way to look. It looked like that. Look into the camera, possibly. Look off to this. I just don't know. <laughs> but I do know this, that Sexy Beast Caterer here. And we are out in the beautiful garden. And guess what we're going to do? We're going to do a couple of shows using the food that we're growing in the garden. I can't wait. It's going to be so fun. Because you know, Sexy Beast grows all of her own food, right? I, I will be able to know when I go back and watch this, which way I want to do this. If I want to look off the side or off to this side, it's going to be crazy. So one of the things that we are going to do out of the garden um, on our next episode is one of my favorite, favorite, easy, Raw, well, it's not really raw, I guess not, because it includes cheese. So we are going to take a piece of red Russian kale and we are going to use the fresh labna that I made and we're going to make something absolutely freaking delicious. It's a side, it's not a main, but it's one of the best sides you could ever have. It's so good. So, but we are going back into the test kitchen right now and guess what we're going to make? I can't wait because it's my favorite. It's my personal favorite. We're going to make chicken and dumplings and guess what? We're going to do it in the Instant Pot so it's going to get done so fast. I mean, literally, you can make chicken and dumplings in 20 minutes, I'd say. Maybe, well, let's just shoot for 30. Okay, 30 minutes, because I know that the 30 minute setting is already on the Instant Pot from this afternoon's lesson. So we're gonna go for 30 minutes and then chicken and dumplings and we'll have it. Yay, <laughs> so, so exciting because I love chicken and dumplings. It's the best. This is Heather, I'm the Sexy Beast Caterer and I own Texas Micro Farms out here in Fort Worth and we are often can be found at the Keller Farmer's Market this year. And then this weekend, we're starting to go to the Wataka Farmer's Market. So fun, fun, yay. All right, <laughs> let's get inside. Crazy thing is, is somewhere in this house, somewhere is definitely my little clicker so that I could start the video and be right here instead of always having to start it and stop it and all that. So it's around here somewhere. All right, we need a knife. Definitely gotta get a good knife. And you know what? Uh, here we go. When you're chopping up chicken, you wanna use a heavy, heavy knife and a sharp one too. This one probably is not as sharp, but I'm gonna take that and have it sharpened. But it's good enough, believe me, for cutting up a chicken. Oh, nice. So the chicken is already in pieces. So I'm gonna check, and this is gonna be the easiest way to make a chicken and dumplings like you would not believe. It is gonna be really fast. So let's just get rid of that. Don't do that, that can go in the garbage. I have the rear end of the chicken. So I'm gonna put that in to the Instant Pot. And then cut this up. I need to use some of this piece here. I'm just gonna cut a piece off because I wanna make myself a sandwich. So I'm gonna keep enough on the side for some sandwich meat. Throw that in. Do the same thing on this side. I'm just gonna cut a piece of the breast off. Sandwich meat, I'm gonna flip it over. Hard, hard press. There we go. Okay. Now we can actually cut this up. Toss that in. Chop this one off. Boom into the pot it goes this is see it it's already garlic and herb 
So I'm not gonna add anything else to it. I, you don't have to always add spices. This one came spiced already. So now what we're gonna want is, washing my hands. Now we're gonna go and get some chicken broth. Because that is gonna be necessary, definitely. I'm going to have to have used it all already, obviously. That is not going to stop me from making my chicken soup. All right. But what I will do is pick up some more. So what I got out is a bouillon cube. Just as good as chicken broth. It's going to make its own chicken broth anyways. It's just, I want it to be a little more chickeny because obviously we want enough. We want enough to, um, now we're gonna go and fill it up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lean forward, show you guys what's in the pot. There you go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try and line the camera back up again. That'll be fine. That's fine right about there. Good. Close enough for government work. Okay. Now we've got to get the lid. And we used the lid for the other one, so I'm just going to rinse it off. Because it had that alcohol in it before. That's fine. And now we're going to pop this off to the instant pot. We are building this up for something. You should know that. Eventually, we are going to make cheese in the instant pot. And I invented a really super cool thing that is going to make it so easy to do. I can't wait. It's going to be really exciting. But if you have your Instapot and you know how to use it, go ahead and close this. And then we're gonna come around the front and there is one that says soup. Slow cook soup broth. That's fun. We're gonna set it for 30 minutes and it's gonna do its thing. So meanwhile, cut me up chicken so I can have a little chicken sandwich. And then we're gonna start working on the dumplings. And it won't matter. It could sit here for an hour and a half while I go and get the stuff for the dumpling organized. But meanwhile, making myself a chicken, chicken salad sandwich. So, we'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Well, what the heck? You know what? This is a cooking show. <laughs> so, while we're making, while we're waiting for the soup, we might as well show you how to make a chicken sandwich. We need a sharp knife. We're gonna use a different knife this time. Okay, and I have a special 
treat for myself today. See this? Woohoo! That is Heather's famous salad mix recipe. And it has the sunflower shoots in it and a bunch of different kinds of lettuce, which is really fun. Okay, so here we go. I had a cut tomato. I cut some tomatoes because they were sitting on the counter and they needed to be eaten. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, no, notice that I have this sitting on a towel. You have to have a towel down. If you don't have a towel, you'll cut your fingers off eventually someday. So just make sure you have a towel. And then you won't have a problem cutting yourself because knives are sharp and they're meant to be sharp. Okay, but this is feeling a little bit, a little bit kind of slimy on the back. I just wa washed it off. Okay, so now they'll show you to cut with your fingers folded in good practice you're gonna to have to practice it quite a bit but that way see how close I can get I can get quite up to my knuckle and not be in, in danger of um, chopping off my fingers okay nice I have a sandwich spreader because I like a lot of sandwiches and so I'm going to use mayonnaise because I like mayonnaise that's pretty much all I put on my sandwiches I just like mayonnaise and that's it okay so I'm trying I want this to be together correctly okay if I do it like that, that'll be fine. I just checked it to make sure. So this is okay, like that. Okay, there we go. And set it down like that. I'm just gonna put my chicken in here. Now this chicken, I'm gonna taste it right now before I put anything on it. I have a feeling that it's probably really well salted already. So I'm not gonna add more salt, it's pretty salty. But what I do want to put on it is cracked pepper. Cause cracked pepper always makes your, your sandwiches better. Yummy. All right. Now you can hear me chewing in the air. Here we go. See it? looks beautiful cracked pepper I'm gonna put the cracked pepper on the other side because it'll stick on that side better right nope. oh <laughs> well that was not what I wanted to do at all what I want to do is put this on there and this one on there do is we're going to layer our tomatoes down. I'm just going to do them like that so that they all fit. And I got the most tomato coverage out of the deal. Look at that. So I could actually flip this one around. There we go. Now look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Ha. That is math. Geometry pretty sure. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going to load up my salad mix, which looks fabulous. Yay! Okay, salad mix is on. Now I'm just going to hold on to this very carefully and flip it onto the top piece. Just like that. There we go. All right. Then cut it 
like that. Stuff anything that fell out, stuff it back in. Who cares? Stuff it back in there. There we go. All right. Got some extra lettuce or some extra tomato. We can eat that later. Meanwhile, that is dinner for me. Yum. This is Heather with Texas Micro Farms. And we're waiting for the chicken to cook. Okay, we're back. <sighs> and if you can see here, we've got 34 on the clock. So that means that it's been setting for 34 minutes. That's not cool enough to open your Instant Pot without being careful. Okay, I can tell because I'm looking back here. Woo, see that? Okay, that's the steam release right there. It's still too hot, but I can open it using that. But before we do that, see what we're gonna do is when it's, when it's still hot, I went and I got some uh, Biscuits, these are the flaky biscuits. Now we can do our actual own fluffy uh, biscuits that we would do with Bisquick, but I'm just gonna use these ones and watch. What we do is we open it up and it might pop open by itself, probably not. All right, it wouldn't pop open by itself, that's okay. Sometimes they do. Then of course there's this way to do it. Ah, which is always fun. <laughs> I could have stabbed it with a spoon too, but it's just too much fun, you know? Smacking things on the counter is just fun. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we have this covered, okay? We're just gonna slowly release the steam. There we go. Woo, woo! And if you don't wanna get it all over the place, you can cover it just like that. Does not matter. It's gonna smell really good in the house anyway, because it smells like chicken. Woo, come on, hurry up. It is not going to let me open this lid. It has a safety feature, and that's fine. I like the safety feature, because you know, safety, you know? You know what, I forgot to put my the wall behind me because it's got a couple of little problems. We can fix them. Then we'll get it we'll get it started out. And it might be nice to have a different colored wall. Have a less green screen, right? And then I could like project onto the green screen that I was like in Paris and stuff like that. That would be super fun. I would have to learn how to do that. I'll bet Dean Ryan knows how to do that. <laughs> Dina, hook me up. Okay, so we've got, this is almost done. Still hasn't fallen down, but it's hot coming out of there. It is very hot. When I can open it, this little thing down here will pop down. It's, there we go. It just popped down right now. Because as long as that little thing is not popped down, you can't open this. But I can open it now. And what I'm gonna do, woo, it's boiling hot. Nice. Now I am just gonna toss these biscuits, biscottes, the biscuitties, in straight on top. Woo, and that's hot, woo. And then, I mean, this is boiling. Then I am going to cover it back up like that. It's hard to put the lid on sometimes. 
especially on the top. There we go. There. Okay, then I'm going to close that up again. And I am just going to cancel that. And I'm going to say, let's just keep it warm. And no. That's going to stay hot. Yeah, that should be fine. I'm going to leave it on. Let's do. Um, oh. Yeah, let's just leave that in for 10 minutes. Meanwhile, I'm going to go and put the biscuits away. And then when this what did that do? I don't care. I'm going to go back up to a soup then. Cancel. Soup. Go down. All right, let's let that sit for 10 minutes on the soup side. That should be fine. Okay, I think we should check it. So it's gonna be pretty hot. Oh boy, I tell you what. Whew. I just canceled that. I just uh, listened to that interview with April Moss on Project Veritas. If you haven't picked up Project Veritas off of your YouTube, which you can, you know, when you sign up for YouTube, go ahead and sign up for YouTube. And then um, you can actually get some pretty cool information. And Project Veritas is on there. They're also on MeWe. I don't think they have a Facebook page anymore. I think they've been kicked off of Facebook a long time ago. Facebook was one of the first people that started kicking other people off. You know, like they've said that Donald Trump can't get on Facebook for two more years and crap like that. I, I swear I hope Trump starts his own network because it would blow Facebook out of the water. We are on a whole bunch of other networks also. We're using Facebook right now to market for our um, Texas micro farms, but I'm gonna sue them. Heh, <laughs> I've got the papers all drawn up. And so I just pulled the information from the Secretary of State in Texas, and I know who their service processors are now. <laughs> ha ha. Too bad. So sad. Because you know what? Facebook, I actually am a lawyer. And I'm not one of those nice candy lawyers that do all these really sweet things. And no, I'm a warrior. You probably will kick me off Facebook permanently. I don't care. I've got other places to go and I have other ways of uh, getting information out to people now, but eventually I'm going to leave because you're full of crap and I'm not taking it anymore. I don't care. But meanwhile, do go check out PV Project Veritas. You can also find them on MeWe. And I'm on MeWe too, but I'm not on MeWe as much right now as I am on Facebook because I'm trying to market my Texas micro farms and the Sexy Beast Catering on Facebook at the moment. So, so anyways, let's go back and uh, we'll come back to here and I can see already that the... Leave that on for the moment. Like that. Whoa. It will burn you. Do not be mistaken. Okay? 
steam is hotter than boiling water. Why is that? Because it's under pressure, right? Me and Mike Van Merrick talked about this whole thing about what happens when something is under pressure. Why it actually gets higher and it continues to boil even though inside the jar may be cool, it's still bubbling on the inside. And he actually couldn't answer that question for me, so I'm going to have to ask him again when we go and have <laughs> making a big mess. <laughs> Having the biscuits in there might have been too much flex because it actually is making quite a big mess. And we lost some of the volume though, but it's not supposed to get up too high. So I might have needed to not put quite as much water. And it, now I'm going to have to probably scrub the lid now I think about it. Because it's definitely, I can see it. It's like bubbling out here. I want to be careful because you know what? I did burn my hand on a chicken pot pie today. And uh, that's going to make it difficult for me to play guitar. But that's all right. I'm learning. Look. I'm learning to um, do E, then the G, G's hard, G's really hard to do, but I can do it, I can do the G, and then E again, and then A, and then E again, and then D, which is this one down at the end like that. So I'm getting there. Woo! Uh-oh. I don't like mess. So, this got messier than I wanted it to. Now I'm gonna have to go and scrub the lid off, which I can, I can take it all apart. Ah! See, that's what I'm talking about. It's still freaking hot. <laughs> so be careful. That steam coming out of that vent right there, owie, that did not feel good. Oh well, it won't be the first time that I've burned myself cooking. In fact, the other day, I was uh, washing the dishes and I was doing the jars for the, for the sunflower shoots. And oh Lord, if I didn't pick it up with wet hand and it dropped and shattered all over the kitchen. And I thought it's not a big deal because I didn't have any shoes on at the time. So when that happened, I went and I got, I went to go get the broom there. Now there's no pressure on it. I went to go and get the broom and Somehow a piece of glass got underneath and got into my foot. <clears throat> so, so I had to do some surgery on my foot at that point. Oh, they look beautiful. Yeah, it's not that bad. It was just spitting. Ooh. Oh yeah. Yeah, they look great. All right, let's take a look at this, you guys. <laughs> Yummy. Those are going to be absolutely fabulous. They're still floating on top, which means that they aren't too heavy yet. And, uh, mmm, that's going to be really good. I can tell. Okay. So there you have it. I'm just going to let them cool inside of there. I'm going to have to clean everything up, but that can sit in there for a little while. Get the lid back on. Close that. Come on, you. 
Oh, that's right. That's that direction. There we go. I'll leave that open. And there we have it. Mmm, chicken and dumpling. And that would have taken, you know, I think you could probably do it in 30 minutes. Easy. I think you could do 20 minutes of the chicken, which was already cooked. So now it's like super falling off the bone cooked. And the biscuits inside, what we do, eight minutes on that. So boom, there you have it. Instant dinner in 30 minutes. And there's enough in there to feed a family of five, unless you got big dumpling eaters. <laughs> Anyways, this is Heather with Texas Swiker Farms. And I also am the Sexy Beast Caterer. And that was your lesson today on how to make dumplings. And then we made a chicken sandwich while we were waiting for the dumplings to get ready. And then we came and we made the dumplings. And now we are out of here because I'm tired. I'm gonna go and take a break. I love you guys so much. Peace out.